I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I greet you in the name of Jesus. It is so good to be with you today. It is another day that God has given us. I tell you, my dear friend, we serve such a good God. We serve an amazing God. He is alive, He speaks, and He lives. And as you put your trust in Him, He will take you to those places that you dream about. He will take you to those places that He Himself has placed a desire for in your heart. My dear friend, our God is such a good God. Have hope, have trust, believe in Him. Know that God will see you through every situation that you find yourself in. Now, I want to start with a bit of a scripture reading from the Bible, and we're going to read from the book of Galatians chapter 1 from verse 10 in the ISV version. It says, Am I now trying to win the approval of people or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be the Messiah's servant. Now, my dear friend, there are two categories that you can fit into, and you can only fit into one or the other at one time. You cannot be in both. Now, the first category is God pleases, or people who are seeking after God's approval. And the second category is people pleases, or people who are seeking after people's approval. Now, God pleases are those who love God's presence. They love to do God's will. They want God to be happy with them in all things that they are doing. They are concerned mainly about pleasing God. Now, on the other hand, people pleasers find themselves here and sometimes it's a trap. You know, it's not something that's really a conscious decision. They find themselves constantly just having to seek other people's approval and it's a trap from the devil. It limits you. You can never really be happy as you are a people pleaser because you will find that some people that you meet and that you are trying to please will never ever be pleased with what you are doing. And this is where it becomes a trap, my dear friend. It's a chasing after the wind. I've met so many people who are miserable, all because they have been trying to please someone all their life. They spent their entire lifetime trying to please someone who never even took notice of them. You see, my dear friend, God doesn't want this to happen. He doesn't want you to be in the trap of pleasing people. And this is why today we're going to pray special Sunday deliverance prayers so that you can be free. You can be your own person. You don't have to win or seek the approval of anyone else. You know that God approves you in what you're doing and that's enough for you. Now, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Let us go into a time of prayer. We're gonna begin by praising God and then we're gonna go into a time of prayer. But even as we start, let us go into a place that is quiet, that is safe. And even as you go there, my dear friend, just begin to lift up praises to God in your own words. Begin to tell him who he is to you and how much he means to you. Father, you are our God and we just praise you. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. You never leave us. You never, ever forsake us. Lord, I thank you that even today, as it is Sunday and we're praying special Sunday deliverance prayers, your presence is here with us. Your presence is in the place with us. And we know because you are with us, because your word shows us clearly, we will receive a miracle from you. We will receive deliverance. We will receive freedom. For it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So even today, as we are seeking after you, we know that we will receive total freedom. We know that we will be set free from every trap and every mission of the enemy to get us into a trap of pleasing people. We thank you, Lord, that we will be set free and we will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Lord, even as we go into a time of prayer, begin to do what only you can do. Touch and change my dear friend's life and take my dear friend to a greater and a more powerful place in you. A place of revelation, a place of greater glories, a place of more power, a place of more anointing, a place of more of your presence and true freedom in you. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, now we're going to begin to pray. I discern the presence of God. I'm going to pray for you in the power of the Holy Spirit and God will bless you. God will set you free and God will take you to greater glories. In saying that, we're going to begin to pray. But even as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. 
The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place where I'm watching. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and come and touch me. Come and change my life. Help me to get closer to Jesus. Give me revelation. And Lord, wherever there's any desire to seek approval of others, set me free from that desire, Holy Spirit. For where you are, there is freedom. Give me total freedom today. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend, wherever my dear friend is, let your deliverance working power just begin to touch my dear friend. Let your deliverance working power just begin to move over my dear friend. Wherever there's any yoke of bondage, let that bondage begin to break. Wherever the enemy has set up traps and my dear friend is in such a trap, let that trap break and let my dear friend be able to walk out of that trap right now. Lord, right now, wherever there's any chains, chains of darkness that have been set up against my dear friend. Let all chains begin to break. Right now, let my dear friend, your dear son, your dear daughter, wherever they are, let them receive total freedom. Let them receive total deliverance. I pray this in Jesus' name. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you that in Christ, we can receive deliverance. I thank you that in Christ, we can make it far. I thank you that in Christ, we will go far and no one will stop us because you are with us. Your grace is with us. You make a way where there seems to be no way. Father, make a way for us today. Open up the way. Wherever there are any desires to seek other people's approval, let my dear friend be set free from those. Wherever there's any evil spirit causing my dear friend to constantly seek approval of others, let my dear friend be set free. Lord, because in this, Many people have found themselves doing things that they don't want to do, doing things that their consciences are not clear and not happy with. Father, I pray, release my dear friend from every desire to be a people pleaser. Let my dear friend receive the grace to be a God pleaser, to seek to please you, to seek your perfect will, to seek to be in right standing with you. Father, we receive your grace and your mercy for us today. Open up the way for my dear friend and let my dear friend be blessed even as my dear friend decides to seek after you. Lord, we thank you that even right now it is happening. We thank you that right now your power is beginning to touch my dear friend and wherever there was any trap of approval, wherever there was any desire to seek approval, wherever there was any desire for constant affirmation from others, that desire is being broken down. And that void and that gap that is causing my dear friend to seek after that approval from people, will be filled by you, Lord, by your presence, by your approval, by your affirmation, by the affirmation of your word. We give you praise and we thank you because you are a good God. You are an amazing God. Lord, wherever there are any voids in my dear friend's heart, let them be filled right now with your presence. Let them be filled right now with your power and set my dear friend free completely. Right now, by your grace and your mercy, make my dear friend completely whole and well in you. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, now as we go into a new week, I want to speak a blessing over you so that you can be blessed. So right now, in the name of Jesus, in accordance with the book of Job chapter 22 verse 28, I decree and declare, God's blessing will follow you. Not any kind of blessing, but the blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. There are two kinds of blessing. There's a blessing that comes with sorrow, but there is one that comes from God and it doesn't come with sorrow. May you receive that blessing. May your family receive that blessing. May even your friends and those you are praying for receive that blessing. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. May God bless you. May God open doors for you. And may you make progress in this week to come. In the name of Jesus, God said it. I believe it and that settles it, my dear friend. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, we come to the end of this video. I'll be back again tomorrow with another video that will bless and change your life. Until then, shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. 
The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.